everybody and welcome to week four of Vlogtober. I can't believe this is the week, last week of um, October. That again has flown by. I hope you've all had a nice weekend. I had a lovely day yesterday. I had a really nice long girly day with two of my lovely friends. Um, my favourite Susan and my other favourite Denise. And we had a lovely, lovely day. They both came to our, my house and we had lunch and we did lots of crafting and chatting. It was just really nice. It was a lovely day. So yeah, I had a lovely weekend. Saturday, I just did household chores and shopping and things like that. But yesterday was lovely. And today, as you can see, I'm in the car. And you know what I'm going to say probably by now. I'm on my way to meet some friends and I'm almost certain you'll know where we're going and who we're going to meet <laughs> but there is a couple of extras this week so I'm not going to say anything I will wait till we arrive and see if they mind going on camera and if they don't then I'll take some little bits of footage um, and for now I shall go and enjoy the journey and speak to you later Good evening everyone. I am just relaxing with my pooch <laughs> and my knitting. I am doing a test knit at the moment for Laura from Penrose Knits. Um, it's a hat that we're testing. Um, I've started it today. Not got very far but we'll show you um, the further on I get. I am using the extra fine merino wool DK. So I'm just having my coffee after having dinner, knitting on this whilst catching up with Paula from Stitch by Mrs. D. She's just telling us about her yummy cheese muffins. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm going to just do this for the rest of the, well, not for the rest of the evening, probably for another hour. I am then going to have a nice bath and maybe do a little bit of crocheting. So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. I shall come back later on and show you the progress. It's not, the colour isn't a really true colour. I can't, it's it's more of a deep, actually it doesn't look too bad there. But yeah, I'll do a little bit more, um, maybe in the morning now and I'll show you my progress on it. But it's really nice, isn't it? This is going... I've, I've specifically picked this colour to go with one of my coats. I've got um, a mustard coloured coat that I wear that hasn't got a hood on it. And I'm hoping that it'll go quite nice with that. I think it will do. Anyway, I'm going to go because I'm waffling. There's Zach. <laughs> I shall speak to you later. Good morning, everybody. And welcome to Tuesday. It's Tuesday today. I wanted to come on and say good morning to you all and tell you about my exciting news. Oh, I was so excited last night. So last night we spent a quiet night in, watched a little bit of TV. I did some more knitting on my um, hat for my test knit, which I'll show you in a little while. And then we decided to go to bed, like you know, like you do at the end of the day. And we let the dog, the dog goes in our garden and does his business before we go to bed. And as we opened the back door, there was this most amazing hedgehog in the garden. I was beside myself with excitement. We've never seen one before. It's the first time we've seen one. And it was so gorgeous. It was, it was just a lovely sight to see. Um, it looked really, really healthy. And it even, when I called it, it even sort of looked up and and sort of said hi to me really it probably didn't but that's what it felt like I was so excited so I ran in and got my camera and managed to get some footage so when I finished saying good morning to you I'll stick it in and let you have a look right my plans for today we are nipping out to the supermarket for some, some um, bits and pieces this morning well when I say we I don't know if Timothy will come with me um, and then for the rest of the day, I will be sewing Christmas bags and cutting out bags for my Christmas Eve box. Nothing exciting today, so if I do have anything to show you, any little bits of footage, I will do. I 
as you can as you've already seen went out with the girls yesterday for um, my lunch which was really really nice and I got some gifts off them which belated birthday gifts which I will also share with you and yeah and that's it really for today nothing more exciting I might do a little bit of baking depends on how much time I've got left in the day and of course I'll try to go out for my daily walk uh, I'd like to try and get this test knit finished as soon as I can because I know she wants them all pretty soon um and for now well, that's it I'm just going to finish my coffee I got this sorry about all the glare it's all the lights in the house I got this mug from the lovely Dawn from Dawn's Days in the Netherlands. Again, she sent me a birthday parcel. I will share that with you today. Sorry, I sound a bit croaky, don't I? I've not been up very long. Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm just having a morning coffee um, and then I'm going to crack on with my day. I'm going to take the dog for a walk first and then I think I'm going to go and have my walk before I have a shower. And then I'm going to shop quickly and then get back and try and spend, like I say, the full day in the craft room. Um, the dog isn't at the side of me today for some reason. He's down on the floor. I know. Can you believe it? Anyway, I'll just quickly turn you around and show you how far I got last night on my um, hat. And then I'll put the footage of the hedgehog in. So this is how far I got with my hat last night. Didn't really do very much. Well... I did actually it's not too bad is it um it's got a pico edge so obviously it, there's quite a lot a lot of knitting before you start getting into um you know the, the body of the hat the you know that kind of thing and it's got a really nice pico edge can you see that how lovely is this i love a pico edge i was only talking to Lindsay about this yesterday isn't that nice um, yeah, so that's how far I've got. Hoping to get a lot more done on that maybe this evening. Maybe an hour in at lunchtime I'll have a break. There's little Zach down there. And the weather doesn't look too bad today. It looks quite... Oh, there's that light again. It's actually not flickering, that light. It's just the um, reflection in the camera. It doesn't look too bad out there today, does it? It's a little bit dull, but it doesn't look that bad. Um, these two candles on my windowsill here, those was gifts. This one was off Karen from Stitches and Jacks. That was off Laura. No, Lauren. Laura? Laura, her daughter. And this one here was off um, Susan and Denise that came at weekend. I'll show you the rest of my gifts later. Okay, so for now I'm going to go have a walk and get a shower. And enjoy your day. So I am out on my walk and as you can see it's raining, it's windy, it's noisy and it's miserable but still we need to walk. Um, by now you should have seen the footage of the hedgehog, what did you think? Oh I just, I still can't get over that we managed to get some footage of it. Anyway just to let you know I'm out on my walk, I'm going to go back, have some breakfast and get cracking.
let me just show you my gifts that I got from um, Dawn. These are from Dawn that she sent for my birthday. And this is a four ply fingering weight. And this one is strawberry cheesecake. How beautiful is that? Oh, I love it. And Dawn knew that I liked this. I'd mentioned that I'd like this. So she sent me one, isn't she lovely? And then one of her bee stitch markers. And then she also sent me this skein, which again, I love. I don't know what that's called. That hasn't got a colourway on it. Then she sent me an Alzea um, sock yarn. I've got about five balls of this sock yarn now that I need to make socks with. Not this particular one, but all different self-striping ones. You know, the, um, the commercial ones. In, aren't they lovely? So I've got that. She sent me that. She also sent me this, which I absolutely love. Look at those bees and the honey and the beehives. Oh, how lovely. And there's Dawn's little label. Can you see that? Yeah, and she did send me a lovely card, which is downstairs, and some treats, which all I'm going to say is we had them for supper. <laughs> anyway that is my birthday treat from dawn i will my other ones are downstairs so i will go downstairs in a minute and show you those from that i got from Lindsay, laura and karen so this is the gift or one of the gifts that karen from stitches and jacks her daughter laura gifted to me it's a jean greenhow christmas treasure um, I she got this for me because Lindsay from Stitches and Jacks and I are making this snowman for Christmas and I didn't have this book so isn't that lovely so that's what we're making out of that then I got a lovely candle um, is it focusing warm apple and cinnamon smells delightful and then she made me oh look at that she made me this key ring they all know that I like um, toadstools and gnomes. And then the lovely Karen, her mum, bought me this book. This Merry Chris, this Merry Nitmus. <laughs> and everything in here is, you can do the wreath. And everything in, these, in here is Christmas related. Isn't that lovely? Look at the size of that little gnome. Oh, how cute. There's some really nice things in there. Penguin. Rudolph. Little mouse. Look at that. Then she bought me this bag. Isn't this lovely? This is an Emma Ball. Or is it that way? Emma Ball bag. It's like one of those that you can put over your arm and wander around while you're knitting. Quite like that. So that was another gift. And then Lindsay from Stitch Create Love made me this large tote bag with the bee on the front and all the embellishments here and then she's um put linen not linen um liberty rather liberty trim on it on the inside and the outside and then this pockets so yeah i've been totally spoilt off my crafty friends for my birthday thank you very much ladies good morning Today is Wednesday. I just wanted to show you our progress. So the first sourdough, this is the second one we've done, got to the third red line and then it went really, really strange. So this is the second batch and it's starting to work. Can you see the bubbles forming? Apparently that's what happens. So I'm quite excited. I'm just about to feed it again. And I'm hoping that this time it works. Watch this space. Let's see if we get any sourdough bread out of it. <laughs> <laughs> 